The 1,000-acre complex is located in a corner of the Crab Orchard National Wildlife Refuge. It is the U.S. Penitentiary at Marion, Illinois, sometimes called the House of Pain or the End of the Line. Once it was the scene of the customary prison violence, exploding in a week of rampage in October 1983 that left two guards knifed to death and an inmate killed. I did all my time. I was doing time they took from me. I did day for day what I had left on my center. And for a down, for a step down, they stepped me down from Mern, Illinois, sending me to Leavenworth for three months to prepare myself to go home. No psychological help. No nothing. No counseling. No nothing. Say, get on out of here. You're lucky to get out. That's how I came on. They kicked me out. Boom. Get on out the door. Either you be back or somebody gonna kill you. Door one. Second lever, unlocks door one. Now the door is unlocked and it hasn't moved. You need to move to third lever. its way to becoming the deadliest on record in Washington, 90 people murdered in the first two months. At this rate, more than 500 people will be killed this year, shattering last year's record of 372 men, women, and children. In fact, the leading cause of death for children in our nation's capital is homicide. They are victims in a vicious war over drugs, a war that is heating up all around the nation. Everything just started flipping, you know, uh, even us playing on the, because I was going to Matilda Minor at that time, and um, even us playing on the playground, and um, being over there, you know, playing throwback tackle and all that, I just started seeing, you know, you know, our visits of going to the playground start becoming lesser, and less because our moms and stuff like, oh, we can't have you, the, the, the neighborhood getting too dangerous, so we don't want y'all out in these playgrounds and stuff like that, so we start having to stay within uh, close quarters where as though, you know, around their apartment building, Asia Base where I grew up at. And uh, was one, we weren't able to just, you know, have fun. Like, I was like, man, it's, it's getting crazy out here. Now, during that time, uh, City on the Siege, Man, D.C. at that time had the highest murder rate in the, in, 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 in the country. People dying three, three, three bodies a day. Three bodies a day or four. People was getting killed for nothing. Wild, wild west. Spend a day in these neighborhoods of projects and modest homes and you're overwhelmed by the drug sweeps and pushers. So are the people who live here. first good memory is when he came home for prison once again and we actually were old enough to sit with him and talk with him for a while and he gave all of us money <laughs> hundreds of dollars actually I don't know how much but it was hundreds of dollars we were just so happy to see my uncle because he stayed away he, lo he stayed locked up mostly all our lives I was so far gone I, I'm still in the trenches when I come home. I came home in the trenches. And I remain in the trenches. In, in other words, you know, the best way I can describe it is once you commit yourself to the trenches, you done gave your life up already. You know, so whatever happened after that, you, you know what I mean, it really, don't hit home, it happens. And, and you just deal with it the way it is, if you can follow what I'm saying. In other words, I was happy to be home, I'm happy to see you, but I might not be here that long, you, 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 if you feel me. Because 
it was like I, I wasn't expected to make it here. Atmosphere. Clear 38. Many times we see patients that are shot up with Uzis, AK-47s. Now we're seeing execution style uh, injuries, the type where the gun was placed right up into the patient's face or head or chest and the trigger pulled. You can usually save a good gunshot to the belly with, you know, one bullet. But when you got automatics out there and everything else, you bring them up here, my job's getting a lot more depressing because I can't save them anymore. You know, so it wasn't as sentimental or, you know, as close as it should be. You should be happy to see your son, your mother, your brother, your sister. But it was, it was, it was a distant, I'm happy to see you, but I ain't gonna be here long. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Cause I'm still in the trenches. I came, I came home from the trenches. Maybe, you know, looking at it now, it's a mental, defect that should be fixed and I wasn't fixed and I and I knew I wasn't fixed because I was still living back there I, I had con I had comrades back there that I left back there in the trenches I was back there with them in other words you're gonna see me back you know I'm gonna I'm do what I have to do out here but you're gonna see me back because I know the condition you're in if I can't get you out out here I'll be back to get you. That's how I was living. Those, those was the 80s for me. I lasted what, 100, 100 some days? Came on 85, lasted 100 some days. Strictly psychotic. <laughs>